Welcome to Macomb Community College. Uh, today we're going to demonstrate how to pressure test a cylinder head. Uh, as you can see, I've got some of the items laid out here on the bench. I've got a cylinder head, I've got a test plate, and I've got some various fixtures. Um, over here we've got the test stand. And what we're going to do is, the first thing you do uh, is you need to mount the cylinder head on this platter down here. And we've got some different pieces here to, to get the cylinder head flat so we can seal it up. So we've got several different pieces. The, these pieces, the head will sit on, the, uh, on the, the fixture and then the head will rest on this. Depending on whether the valve cover surface is angled or not, you may need to use these or these. You may also need to build the head up so it sits high enough that we can clamp the ceiling plate down like you would a uh, cylinder head. So we've got some risers. So the way that works is you can take these and put them on top and then the risers would go onto the tech the fixture. Okay, for this cylinder head, uh, I think we're going to take these fixtures because it's a rather flat cylinder head and the valve cover surface and the deck surface are parallel. So we'll put these here. And we'll put the cylinder, we're going to rest the cylinder head on there with our combustion chambers facing up. Now we want to make sure we're not sitting on top of our valve spring. We want to be flat on the valve cover surface. And that, that looks like it'll work pretty good. Then these deck plates, these ceiling plates, are made of cast iron and they've got about a quarter inch thickness of rubber all the way over the, the whole surface. One of the things you want to do is you want to clean, make sure that's nice and clean and make sure your head's nice and clean. So what I do is just a little bit of soapy water, I'm using Windex here, works real well. Make sure that is clean. Make sure that the head's clean. So you got to scrape all the gasket off the head. It's got to be nice and clean in order for you to get a good seal. All right. I've already pre-selected this plate, so I know it's going to fit this cylinder. As you can see, I've got a whole selection of plates here. Inline six. V6, all different configurations, the different spacing. You, you need to pull them out and find what works best for your cylinder head. All right. So now I've got the cylinder head and the, the ceiling plate. And now what I can do is I can move these clamps over the top, just like you would with head bolts. And we're going to clamp that plate down to the head. Enough here, so I'm going to need to use a set of risers. I'm going to have to pick that cylinder head up just a little bit because I'm going to run out of thread there with my clamps. All right. 
you want to tighten these down just like you would a, a head. If you're torquing a cylinder head, you kind of use that pattern. You start in the middle and work your way out. Now the same thing applies here. This particular head is pretty easy to seal up uh, because the water jackets um, factory, I had some factory provisions where I could put in uh, some plugs and seal up the water jacket. On, um, say, a small block Chevrolet head, like this cylinder head, you've got water ports on either end. And it'll be necessary, in order to pressure test this head, is we're going to have to seal up those two water ports. And if there is a sensor uh, for a coolant temperature sensor like this, that has to be plugged as well. Anything that we're, that's into a cooling jacket, we need to be able to plug. So there are some other things here that allow us to do that. We've got some small block off plates that it may be advantageous to bolt these right across, and this, this one looks like it'll work pretty good for that. So we can bolt that over the water jacket. Or, we've got these fixtures here that can be used with these other blocks. Again, a little, little piece of steel with a rubber on it that can be held against the cylinder head and these slide up into place and allow you to clamp them on top of the, the water jacket. So if we can't find a piece that will bolt to the cylinder head like that, we can use something like this that will cover that port and then we can press on it and keep it in place. Again, these need to be cleaned up too. The, the deck surf, that surface of the head needs to be good and clean so we can get a good seal. All right, so now I've got the cylinder head all set up. And I cheated just a little bit with this cylinder head. It's something we use every year. I went and and plumbed in, I put in a quick connect fitting on the head itself. This, this particular head has a leak that I want you to see, um, so I, I use this one over and over again. It's a good demonstration piece. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and hook up. I'll turn down the air. How are you going to get air into your cylinder heads? I've got these small blocks that you can use and use those in place on your cylinder heads. And there's a variety of different sizes that you can use. So one, on, one end of the head, you're going to have to do something to block off this side. This side, you're going to use one with a pressure tab. OK? The fixture itself has a couple of thumb screws on either side that if the angle on these base plates isn't perfect, you can slightly angle the fixture to adjust it so that you get that head level in the fixture. Does it have to be perfectly level? No. Close is good. The closer the better, but it'll, it'll accept a little bit of out of level. All right, so now I've got the head set up. I'm going to tighten up my screws, starting in the middle and working my way out towards the edge. And then I'm going to put some pressure to the pressure test. All right, I've got 20 pounds there. And as you tighten in one spot, you hear the leak occurring in another. It gives you an idea how critical head torque and the torque sequence is when you're tightening a cylinder head down. All right, I've got 20. What's the typical cooling system pressure? What do we typically see? 30? A little high. Uh, I see pressure caps anywhere from 16 up to maybe 21 pounds of pressure. So we would want to test at least at 21 pounds. We probably want to go a little bit above that, uh, maybe 30, 35, all the way up to 40. Just in case there's a leak, we want to make sure we find it. So I've got it at 20 now. I'm going to bump it up a little bit. We're going to put it to 30. 
now it leaks a little bit more. Now I need to go back and do some tightening. Sounds pretty good. I don't hear too many leaks. The nice part about this fixture is that once I've got it all set up like this and I've got the head pressurized, I can take the fixture and roll it. What we'll do now is we'll be able to spray the cylinder head with some soapy water and look for bubbles. Some machine shops will have a tank in a fixture like this where they'll fixture the head, clamp it all up, and then submerge the whole piece. Our, this is a dry fixture where we're going to use a soapy water solution on the outside to, uh, to de detect the leaks. It's kind of like looking for holes in your tires. You're, you pressure check a tire, you bring it up to pressure, and you put it in the water and look for bubbles. Same process here. All right. Well, I already know that this head's got some porosity in it. And I want to show you, all you have to do is spray the cylinder head with some water and look. Come on in here and take a look at this. This head happens to have a porosity right on the deck surface. There's a, a microscopic pinhole on the deck right here. That, that you can barely see with your bare eye, but if the minute you put water to it, it bubbles like crazy. Yeah, I'm going to have you all come through here and take a look. That, that's a good example of why pressure testing is so valuable. You got a you got a cylinder, you got an engine that's overheating or using coolant. You don't know why. The pressure test would be a great way to find it. Engines that have overheated, and you can't explain why. You may have an internal crack in the cylinder head that, that will, you could find on this pressure test stand. 